it's a very old ship as well. It's not, you know, it's not new. It's still steam power. It's not your everyday job with cameras and drones and helicopters and a national spotlight on it. So if you were to mess the job up, everyone would know it. My name is Kyle Hamill. I'm a port pilot for the Port of Los Angeles. There's the Port of Long Beach and the Port of Los Angeles, and I and I work on the Los Angeles side. I was a, a captain in the Merchant Marine for Marisk and chief mate with Marisk and second and third mate for a, a bunch of different companies through the union. We're like valets for ships. The Mercy, once they get about four miles out, we kind of start making our way to the pilot boat, and then we ride out there. Uh, on the pilot boat and then uh, pull alongside the ship and then climb up the side of the ship on the Jacob's ladder and uh, and then get up to the bridge and have a little conversation, a, a turnover with the, it's called the master pilot exchange with the captain. And um, and then we, and we take over for him. Um, it's ultimately always the captain's responsibility still. They, they kind of give it to us to take over, but it's it's the captain's vessel. Uh, it ended up, you know, we're in rotation, um, so it just ended up that it was my turn uh, in the rotation, and I got the mercy. There was a lot of, um, not pressure, but a lot of um, spotlight, you know, on, on that particular job um, because it was a high-profile deal. A lot of people are interested in it coming here, and um, it's not every time that something like this happens. So it was, it was cool, but, uh, you know, a bit stressful at the same time, just because there's so many eyes on you. It's not your everyday job uh, into a slip, into the, you know, the crew's berth there that we don't um, personally, you know, dock ships into all the time. The cruise ships come in there, um, but they do their own docking in the last few minutes of the job. So it's just a, it's a just an odd bulk type of job. You know, all I did was bring it in. Um, you know what they're doing now is the is the cool part. Every port in the world has uh, pilots. You know, it's not unique to any one country or any port or or, or anything like that. Everywhere in the world you go, um, you know, you get on a pilot and he's the local knowledge. You know, the prevailing weather for the port and um, you know capabilities of different boats that you'd be working with and the, you know, the characteristics and um, expectations of the other guys that are working with you. It's just like, you, you know, you, you know what's going on in there. Um, and a captain in, of a ship is very capable in knowing his particular ship's characteristics and getting it from point A to point B. Um, but we just give them that extra hand and take over once they you know, get within the port there. Before I got this job, um, you know, I was a captain on a container ship and I'd be gone for six months a year. You know, I'd do 77 days at sea and then I'd be home for 77 days. Well, you get to see the port view of lots of different countries, but it'd be like judging a country, you know, by the port of Los Angeles, which would actually be a nice place to judge a country by, but there's some really rough places, other places in the world where they put their ports. But you get to see a lot of cool stuff, man. A lot of, a, a lot of, you know, a lot of peaceful days at sea and a lot of really scary days at sea where they're just throwing your ship around, uh, you know, the ocean like it's nothing. You know, and right now with this with this coronavirus deal, all these all these merchant seamen, uh, there's like no no companies operating right now that are going through with crew changes. So all these all these crew members that are on all these ships, moving around all this stuff that everybody needs, they're stuck on there. They can't get off. Um, you know, nobody's flying home. Nobody's doing anything. You know, those guys should be appreciated, uh, but nobody really pays attention to that you know you just you don't you don't know how the stuff gets on the on the shelf at target you just want to know why it isn't there you know
you are looking at the aftermath of a bizarre train derailment here at the Port of Los Angeles that happened yesterday afternoon when the engineer aboard that locomotive intentionally rammed the train off of a set of tracks here coming within a couple of football fields of the USNS Mercy, which arrived here at the port last Friday. He made some, uh, he made some progress on his mission there to do whatever he was up to, hit the Mercy with it, which is about impossible. I saw it like the, the like right after it happened, and I remember thinking as we were, I was driving from a job uh, back to the pilot station. I remember seeing the the train over there, and I was like, that doesn't usually go right there. Like it looked odd, you know. And then I noticed the fire engines and some spill response people. The Mercy, you know, all I did was bring it in. Um, you know what they're doing now is the is the cool part.